What is kinetic energy? Well, any object that is moving has kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy is the energy possessed by an object due to its motion. And velocity, of course, is motion. We can calculate the kinetic energy of an object using that formula, where kinetic energy is equal to the product of one-half times mass velocity squared. The kinetic energy is measured in joules, just like work. Work and energy, is, they're both measured in joules. And mass is measured in kilograms, and velocity is measured in meters per second. Now, if the velocity of the object changes, the kinetic energy changes. So kinetic energy is equal to the change, final minus initial. And what we can do is we can substitute that with the kinetic energy formula, and we end up showing that the change in velocity is related to the change in kinetic energy. Now, don't make the mistake that I have illustrated here. Vf squared minus Vi squared is not the same thing as delta V squared. So let's compare the kinetic energies of four different vehicles. We have four cars. Uh, two of them have a mass of 1,000 and two of them have a mass of 2,000. And we have different velocities, either 10 or 20 meters per second. And I've calculated the kinetic energy of all four using the formula Ke is equal to one-half mv squared. So you can uh, test the formula yourself on, on uh, these numbers here. But let's consider that these numbers are correct and compare car A to car B. Now you see car A and B both have the same velocity, but B has twice the mass of A, and B has twice the kinetic energy compared to A. Well, that makes sense because if you look at the kinetic energy formula, kinetic energy is a direct linear relationship with M. So they're directly related to one another. So if you increase the mass, you're gonna increase the uh, kinetic energy correspondingly. So now let's have a look at A and C. So A and C both have the same uh, mass, but you see C has twice the velocity of A. So twice the velocity, but it has four times the amount of energy. Four times if you double the velocity. Well, that makes sense too, because you see kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of the velocity. So if you double the velocity, that would be double squared, or the kinetic energy goes up four times. If you triple the velocity, the kinetic energy would go up nine times. And if you quadruple the velocity, quadruple squared is 16, the kinetic energy would go up 16 times. So in summary, kinetic energy is proportional to m, we call that a direct linear relationship. And if we were to graph that, we would get a straight line, Ke versus m. As you increase m, Ke increases according to a linear fashion. Now, Ke and velocity, well, that's a square relationship, and we call that direct square relationship. And that means if you increase the velocity, the kinetic energy is going to increase exponentially.